there fellow collector, Shuki here with an unboxing of the Pokemon Trading Card Game Forbidden Light Booster Box. Uh, so huge thanks to the Pokemon Company International for providing me with this booster box to unbox for you all today. Work with them several times in the past, it's always a huge pleasure to do so, and I cannot thank them enough for sending this my way. Now granted, Celestial Storm is right around the corner, and in fact it releases in card shops as opposed to pre-releases on Monday, so this is the set before that. But I have to apologize to the Pokemon Company for taking so long to produce this video because my editing rig died. So, but I'm back. We're here. We're finally getting to it. Uh, and I am very much looking forward to uh, the Celestial Storm set as well. But there's a bunch of cool things in Forbidden Light as well that I want to get my hands on that I haven't really gotten yet. Um, those that have followed my vlogs and Twitter and such like, know that I piloted the Zygarde GX deck at uh, the North American International Championships and did a absolutely horrible job, as I normally do. But uh, there are several cards in here that benefit from Celestial Storm, uh, such as Naganadel GX benefiting from Stackachaka GX that's in Celestial Storm. Uh, there's Zygarde, as I said, very, very cool. I love Zygarde. Uh, Greninja is also in here, is another uh, card that will benefit from post-rotation. Uh, so there are several things in here that I absolutely am still looking forward to. So we're going to go ahead and set this right back here so we can monitor our progress. I have some sleeves in case we pull some GXs. I say in case, even though it's a box, there's definitely GXs in there. So let's just go ahead and jump right in to these. I, it's been a while. I have to remember how uh, everything works. <laughs> it's been a while since I've done a card unboxing. Uh, so we have uh, Mental Energy, as always, Bonnie, uh, Gabite, Tyrant, Scatterbug, Snover, Skrulp. Bunnelby, Froakie, uh, Spupa is our reverse, and then Empoleon Hollow is our uh, rare, right off the bat. So already doing very, very good. Um, I'm going to kind of separate these piles by like energy, trainer, uh, commons, uncommons, uh, rares, and reverse hollows. Why? I don't know. That's just how I feel like doing it. So... Dark Energy, Ultra Space, Metal Frying Pan, a card that I think uh, benefits from post-rotation uh, quite a bit for those metal decks. Hoopa, Dewpiter, Scatterbug, Inke, Gumi, a uh, different Gumi, uh, Reverse Klefki, and a Klotzer is our rare. I'm actually going to start a separate pile for rares, different than hollows. Just so I can monitor where we're at in all of this. Fire energy. Uh, Judge. Magneton. Go go. Fennekin. Rock Ruff. So sad, Rock Ruff. <laughs> it bothers me that this is the best Rock Ruff in the format right now because it has 70 HP. And it's like the saddest, most depressing Rock Ruff art <laughs> I've ever seen. Uh, speaking of sad art, very beautiful art though. Slow baby, I'll let Leo, Cubone, a reverse clauncher to go with that clawitzer, and Pangoro is a rare. Oop. Fairy energy, Floet, Poiple, Mesprit, Gibble, Clauncher, Noibat, Panchim, Esper. A reverse metal frying pan and a hollow magnazone. A, uh, I don't want to say reprint because it was a type change. It used to be metal type in uh, Ultra Prism and now in Forbidden Light it is a lightning type. So that was really fun. Again, I apologize for the Pokemon Company, to the Pokemon Company, not for them, to them, uh, for taking so long uh, to get this out. Koopa, Scatterbug, Onage, Helioptile, Ber Bergmite, 
Skidoo, a uh, Reverse Rotom, and Aegislash as our rare. Gearing up for that hot Rotom box deck. <laughs> uh, so let's just have a little conversation uh, right now. Not particularly a conversation, because this is a recorded video. But, you know, like, just tell me what you want to see in regards to Pokemon content on this channel. I know toys are definitely a gimme. Double the ink, double the power. <laughs> Barbaricals are rare. So I know toys are a gimme, and uh, Wicked Cool Toys has gotten the license for Pokemon uh, here in the U.S., and they are starting to gear up for their product launch. I'm very much looking forward to bringing some of that to my channel, as well as the Japanese Takarotomi stuff, of course, that I get every month. Um, but card-wise, still want you want to see more card unboxings? Let me know, of course. Always helpful. Still been buying the cards, just kind of been cutting back on the card videos. But, you know how it goes. Torterra is our rare. So nothing too extravagant yet. But, it's got to be, it's got to be coming soon. <laughs> got to be coming soon. <laughs> Psychic Energy, Amora, Lady, uh, Raquinid, Clauncher, Noibat, Pancham, Esper, Execute, Doblade, and Alolan Marowak, which is actually a fun card, it's just not incredibly usable. And unfortunately, that's just one of the biggest gripes about uh, booster packs in general, and kind of like the game in general, and honestly, card games uh, in general, when uh, everything's all said and done. It's just the fact that there's so many cards in the set that are just kind of throwaway, not that good of cards. And it's a little bit unfortunate, because I, like, I love a little Marowak. He just hasn't really gotten his chance to shine yet. So, we'll see in the future. More Goomies. Magnemite, and... Uh, yes! Oh... <laughs> uh, uh, this is one of the cards I said that I really wanted, and here it is. Uh, I'm a collector by nature. Obviously, it's in the title of this channel. <laughs> and I actually don't have full art Naganadel yet. So, or Naganadel, or Naganadel, or Naganadel, however y'all want to pronounce it. But very, very beautiful card. As I put it in a sleeve, that kind of dulls how beautiful it is a little bit. Because uh, it's got anti-gloss on it, but... <laughs> Uh, very nice. I love Naganadel. I think it's a great Ultra Beast. It's my favorite uh, of the Ultra Beasts. And uh, I'm very much looking forward to playing this deck now that uh, Stack Attacker is a thing that exists. If you attach uh, bodybuilding dumbbells to Naganadel GX and uh, have some Stack Attackers, uh, Naganadel, Naganadel be a tank. It's like a speedy little needle dragon, and it just turns into a tank. Might as well give it treads and a cannon, because it turns into a tank. 250 HP, stage one. Yes, please. There is our reverse hollow owner. So yeah, B Beast Raid's damage cap is unfortunately only uh, 120. Uh, 150 with a choice band and like neither of those are really hitting huge numbers So I, I kind of like to think of it this way is that if you attach the uh, dumbbells You get more HP and when you get more HP you can tank more attacks So that's just kind of my thought process behind Naganadel and stack attack GX So I don't know it could ooh Diantha It's rare that we get holographic trainer cards and Diantha was one of the first that we've had in a while. I think since Getsis, uh, from the black and white era, I want to say. It was the last time we had a uh, holographic trainer card. So, very cool. I don't know what stack to put Diantha in. <laughs> That's pretty neat. Like I said, we don't uh, come across that too often. Normally, trainer cards are just uh, straight up uh, uncommons, but... Every now and then, you get those cool things. Mysterious Treasures, a very, very, very 
good uh, trainer card, especially with Tapu Lele uh, in the format. One card to discard to search that out instead of two for Ultra Ball. So very good. Stock up on those. Boom! Pell. <laughs> uh, I know. I know. I get flack a lot in my videos for not reacting well to the GXs. And as as a collector that is also a player uh, and tournament organizer for that matter, I like do everything for this game. Uh, <laughs> I know when a card is bad. And unfortunately, Palkia is one of those cards. Uh, hence why I flipped out about the Naganadol. But did not flip out about the Palkia. Because Palkia is not that good of a card. But <laughs> I'm glad we got a GX. Don't get me wrong. But Palkia is not good. <laughs> Azelf. Wow, that pack just spewed everywhere. So we're just going to speed. I didn't even... Did I not do the trick properly for that one? I don't know. Well, there we go. There's this pack. <laughs> does does anyone like speed run uh, pack openings? What was my rare? Sylveon was the rare. Does anyone like speed run pack openings? Very curious. So like speed run pack demo, right? Right. They kind of rip open the pack. They get rid of the code card and they just go. Fua! And they show off everything. Like, oh, look at this. this is all the stuff. Got a Rusthal Mysterious Treasure. See, I'm more excited about this than the Palkia. I honestly actually think this is worth more money than the Palkia. <laughs> and it is worth more in a playable deck than the Palkia. But does anyone do that? Just rip it open and reveal everything? Like, I know that's not as thrilling. But <laughs> I'm just curious if anyone does that. If not, I will be the first to speed run a box opening. And why? Why? I can't even trick properly. That's how terrible. Volcarona Prism Star. Yeah, we're just going to straight to this. Uh, actually, one of the better, if not the best. Uh, I'm trying to remember the prisms uh, in this set. Oh, uh, Diancy is the best prism in this set. 110%. But Volcanian here is actually really good in water decks. Uh, discard a water energy from your hand. If you do, uh, your opponent switches their active Pokemon with one of their bench Pokemon. Unfortunately, they get to choose, so it's not as good as stuff like Countercatcher or Guzma and stuff like that, but it is still a very good tech card in water decks. So, uh, there is that. Another Mysterious Treasure. Great. I need to stock up on those. <laughs> Because I unfortunately did not have too many previously. I had like a playset and a couple couple uh, stragglers. But now I got lots. So hooray, mysterious treasures. Doublade, Diggersby, Helios, Kagumi, Finicky, fi Finicky, <laughs> Finnegan, Inke, uh, Pancham, Dupider, Meowstick, and Malamar. Malamar is one of the stars of this set. Psychic Recharge. Attach Psychic from your discard to one of your bench Pokemon for free. Energy Acceleration is a, like, absolutely desirable resource uh, in this game. And unfortunately, we don't get it all that often. So, when we do get cards like Malamar, it's always an absolute treat uh, to play cards like that. Uh, so, very, very cool. Grass Energy, Lysander Labs, uh, Go Go, Mesprit. Is Mesprit? I thought Mesprit was a rare. I tossed Mesprit in that pile somewhere, didn't I? Helioptile, Flabebe, Binacle, Magnemite, Q Bone, a reverse Q Bone, double the sadness, double the. Uh, and yes, we will not go uh, anymore. We got another Naganadel GX, this time of the classic variety. I don't know why I said classic variety. It's not classic, it's just normal art. As opposed to the full art Naganadel GX that we got previously. So, it, I, I love this because I needed Naganadel GXs. And now uh, this box had two. If the Hyper in this box is a Naganandal GX, I will actually legitimately just freak out. 110%. Going from like one Naganadel to like four Naganadels would be great. 
I'd also really love a full art trainer though. So there's there's that. <laughs> Brazen fossil excavation map. Zagard, Onage, Cubone, Snover, Bumblebee, Binacle, Execute, and a Florges. <laughs> Nobody gets that reference. Alright, I got a bunch of Pat Garbo over here. So let's uh let's clean this up a little bit. Alright, let's continue. I'm gonna try to keep the pack garbo out of the review station moving forward. So we don't we don't litter. We don't litter our filming area. <laughs> Fairy energy, uh, heliolisk, magneton, hoopa, gumi, bergmite, honage, furfro, skidoo, a hoopa, and a pheromosa hollow. Uh, I, I love the fact that Ultra Beasts are getting normal versions that aren't GX as well. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of them aren't super playable, but there is uh, the Baby Buzzwall in this set, which we unfortunately haven't gotten any of yet. Um, but the Baby Buzzwall in this set is pretty good. Uh, the Celesteela and Celestial Storm is a card uh, to look out for. So there there's a lot of the good little Ultra Beasts. Uh, the Duskmane and Dawnwing Necrozmas that are promos are very good. Um, what else is good of the normal Ultra Beast variety? There's definitely some. Poipol, Halucha, uh, Unit Energy. I don't actually know where to put that in my stack. But uh, this is the Fairy Type, Fighting Type, and Dark Type Unit Energy. When this is attached, uh, it provides one of any of these energy at a time. So... Definitely very helpful uh, for decks that play multiple colors. Or for a tech, like if you're playing a grass deck but you have like one dark type in there for some reason that might may or may not be Zorark GX, you can play unit energy to kind of as a dark energy to use uh, Trickster GX. Sure. <laughs> if you want to do that, AK, Pancham, Dupider, Fennekin, a reverse Sad Rock Ruff. And Zerkatry, another one of the normal non GX Ultra Beasts. Cable Graham. Dazzle Blast is a pretty good name for an attack, too. Prepare to be Dazzle Blast. Did. Tenses are hard. <laughs> you got a Psychic Energy, uh, Zygarde, Doblade, Diggersby, Mannequin, Litleo, Furfro. Inky Magnemite, he's so happy. I aspire to be as happy as this Magnemite is right here in this art. All the time. Uh, Honage, or Honage, or Honage, or Honage, or Noivern. <laughs> uh, Noivern is a card that I really want to play too. Not this Noivern in particular, because this Noivern's not that good, but like I want a really good Noivern. Noivern GX is a card I feel that would be really good if uh, the Pokemon Company would decide to uh, reprint um, Double Dragon Energy. Because we don't have that in format anymore, in standard anyway. It isn't expanded, but I don't play expanded. So, <laughs> and a Porter. Uh, another Ultra Space, that's always good. So yeah, I, I want I want my Noivern and Noibat to shine because I, I love them a lot. Uxie and Zygarde. This is not the Zygarde I played, mind you. It was Zygarde GX that I played. Significantly better card. Not that I think that one's actually bad. Um, I had that in the list at one point, and then it got swapped for Baby Buzzwolves because they're just significantly better. Speaking of, can we get a Baby Buzzwolf? <laughs> Another one of the unit energies. Uh, for those curious, the other unit energies were in previous sets. Um, I think there was two in Ultra Prism, and then this one right here. If I remember correctly, memory is not that great. So, I don't know. My be wrong. Uh, Furfro, Skiddo, Gumi, Flabebe, and an Obama Snow. Blessings of the Forest is a, such a good ability name. Uh, when you play this card from your hand, you evolve one of your Pokemon. During your next turn, you might attach a Grass Energy from your Discord pile to one of your Pokemon. That Energy Acceleration that I talk about is so helpful. Unfortunately, when it's a one-time energy acceleration, it's not as helpful as something like Malamar that can do it every single turn it's in play. Uh, but still, 
still can be good. Uh, we got a water energy, a tyrant, ultra requan, requan, <laughs> requan, requan, a uh, recon squad. Uh, very neat. Uh, discard up to two Ultra Beast cards from your hand. Draw three for each, so you can draw up to six if you discard two Ultra Beasts. Uh, something to think about in Naganadel. Uh, I don't feel comfortable playing it, but you can always rescue Stretcher in them back as well. So I don't know. Diggersby and a Garchomp is our Hollow uh, Fighting type now. Previously a uh, Dragon type in Ultra Prism. Because they're doing that now. They're reprinting cards. And making them their different types. Which is cool and all. But I sit here and go, you know what would be even cooler? If you made them dual type. I miss dual types. Ultra Space, Poiple, Halucha, Binacle, Flabebe, Krogunk, Cloncher, Froki, Lola Marowak, Marowak, and a more. Wow, Aurorus. It's late. Aurorus is our hollow. Very cool. Unfortunately, fossils are very hard to get in play. Uh, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, dual types. They only use dual types, like, every once in a blue moon. Uh, as like a special gimmick. And like, don't, don't gimmick dual types. Just like, make some cards dual types. Instead of the prism stars, make dual types. I don't know. I don't make the rules. I just saw a Diancy prism star. You didn't. It's because I screwed up the thing again. <laughs> Uh, Dialga is our... D Dialga, wow, I am... I need to leave. Dragalgi is our rare. We have a Diancy Prism Star hanging out in the back here. And like I said, Diancy Prism Star is the best prism in this set, uh, bar none. Unfortunately, when rotation happens uh, on September 1st, we do lose strong energy. So the Diancy, like, Buzzwool, Zygarde, Buff sort of thing uh, doesn't work as efficiently. But uh, Diancy is still a must-have in any future uh, fighting decks. The uh, rest of that pack was Doughblade, uh, Judge, Azelf, Onage, Noibat, Gibble, Execute, and Gumi. But yeah, bring back dual types is what I'm trying to say. Uh, Pokemon Company, uh, I know you're watching because you sent me this. Uh, so please... Please, please bring back dual types. Uh, send that along to the uh, the R and D division of the card game, because dual types are fun. Don't gotta make every card a dual type. Just some cards a dual type. I think it'd be fun. It was fun all the other times they existed. Ooh, a reverse ultra requan requan. Why can't I say it? Recon squad. But most importantly, a Beast Ring. A very good card uh, in uh, the current standard, in Pulse Rotation standard. Just an all-around great card. If you are playing an Ultra Beast and you have three or four prizes, your opponent, not you, your opponent has three or four prizes, you play this card, you search up to two basic energy cards from your deck, attach them to one of your Ultra Beasts, shuffle your deck. It is so good, that energy acceleration that I keep talking about how good that is in this game. Uh, so if you're playing Ultra Beasts, it's the way to go. Beast String is the way to go. Remember, it's four. <laughs> Gabite, Hoopa, Crash Awake, yeah! <laughs> I also aspire is aspire to be like as energetic and happy as Crash Awake. Uh, we got Snowmer, Skrelp, Bunnelby, Froakie, Magnemite, uh, Aegislash is our reverse, and Rotom is our rare. This Rotom is also a reprint, uh, was electric in Ultra Prism, and is now a Psychic type, which is actually good. Uh... Because it adds that type to the Rotom Box decks. And Rotom Box is not going to do good in like competitive play. But uh, Rotom Box is a fun deck to play. Uh, for those that don't know, the Rotoms all have the Roto Motor ability. And if you have nine or more tool cards in your discard pile, you ignore all energy required for all of your Rotoms. So they all do a, not a similar attack to this, but some better than others. But uh, with all the different types of Rotom, you have like Fire-type with the Heat Rotom. You have uh, Water with the Frost 
Rotom, the, the, the fridge, and the wash Rotom. And then you have uh, Psychic and Lightning with the normal form Rotoms. And then you have uh, Colorless, which isn't really helpful in any sort of matchup because Colorless isn't uh, strong against anything. Uh, with the Fan Rotom and uh, Grass with the Mo Rotom. So you have all these different types uh, with that Rotom card. So it can be super fun to play. But again, not like tournament winning, but fun. And sometimes you need to kick back, build a fun deck, and just enjoy life and enjoy this game. I'm not going to try to say their name again. And that's how I like to look at everything. I just like to play this game and have fun. A Bunnelby and I will take it. I, whoa, I squeaked hardcore right there. I will take it. I, like I said, if this was a uh, Hyper Naganadal, would have freaked just to have three Naganadals in this box. But this is such a beautiful card. Energy Recycler is not played all that much uh, in competitive decks. Um, Vika Ray might play it because Vika Bulu played it. Uh, Vikavolt and uh, Tabu Bulu GX, and then uh, with Celestial Storm, uh, Vikavolt and Rayquaza GX, or Rayquaza GX, depending on how you want to say it. So they might play that, but this card is just so beautiful. The the full art supporters, unfortunately, we did not get one. We might still pull one. Uh, would be really cool if we did. Uh, it, they're the full art supporters are gorgeous. Um, if there's, like, one thing to collect from this entire game, it's Full Art Supporters. Uh, they're just great. Uh, but these gold trainer cards are beautiful as well. And with the Energy Recycler being all colorful and stuff, it's just a nice, nice kind of juxtaposition. And I love it a lot. But uh, search for five basic energy from your discard pile and put them in your deck. Like it is, it's an Energy Recycler. But that is gorgeous. I think the best looking uh, like secret rare trainer card in this set is probably Energy Recycler. I don't think it's the most helpful because B-String is a uh, hyper that exists, but uh, I think Energy Recycler is the prettiest one to me. But <laughs> we got uh, Fire Energy, Frogadier, Spoopa, Sp <laughs> Spoopa. I call him Spoopa all the time. It's Spoopa, but I call him Spoopa. I don't know why. Froki, Full Baby. Rockruff, Gibble, Flabebe, Snover, and a Klotzer is our rare. Uh, I don't think we're, we're not going to top the Energy Recycler. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. Beautiful. Anyway, Fairy Energy, Crusher Wake, Doe Blade, Judge, Rockruff, Flabebe, Lilio, Cubum, Scatterbuck. A reverse Poipole, love that, need that, will love and cherish that. Uh, Barbarical is our rare. Uh, judge, Judge is really funny. I am a Judge, uh, so like uh, you go to a tournament, you run a tournament, you judge at a tournament, all you hear all day long is Judge! And then when they make a card called Judge, the community is like, oh, it'll be really funny. So I have no idea when it decided to cut out, but the last shiny thing I got was a Pyroar. So yeah, there's there's that. Um, so yeah, uh, moving right along. I don't know what I was talking about. Y'all missed the Pyroar song because my camera wasn't autofocusing, and then it turns out my camera wasn't autofocusing well because it wasn't recording anything. So good times. I can't. Like, if this was a review, I would just go back and film it again, but I can't do that, because this is a card unboxing. So, I'm just going to have to bear with me, and hope it got most of it. <laughs> Alright, so we got two packs left after this. We are down to the wire. Can we get anything else that is good? Mysterious Treasure and Frying Pan, I will take that. <laughs> I will definitely take that. More Inkies I will take as well. Bergmite and a Pangoro. We actually haven't gotten this rare yet. Untamed Punch. As opposed to a Tamed Punch. But yeah. I have no idea if y'all heard the Judge story or not. I hope you did because it, it was a great 
great, uh, great story. But anyway, Oslagu, uh, Frogadier, Spupa, Flabebe, Litleo, Cubone, Scatterbug, Snover, Flabebe, and Dialga GX. Whoa! I just seem to always get Dialga and Palkia GX. Sino confirmed. Anyway, uh, I do love Gen 4. Gen 4 is my favorite gen. Uh, so I guess it's only fitting that I attract the Palki and Dialga GXs. But, uh, Dialga's really fun. Timeless GX, 5 energy for 150. Not that good, but you get to take an entire new turn after that turn. So, it, it's kind of neat. Your opponent basically skips their turn. Uh, it, it's a neat little thing if you can get it off. That's the problem, is just having this amount of energy. Uh, 50, 60, 70, 80, so if you have a, a, a choice band attached, it is knocking out anything that's 180. So, there's that. If you can get a knockout, and then somehow get another knockout after that, through another card probably, it is super good. Don't get me wrong, it is super good. It's just super difficult to actually pull off. And uh, that is where the problem lies. So this is our last pack. Can we get some last pack magic up in this house? Got a Heliolisk, a Diggersby, a Lady, a Binacle, a Magnemite, Cubone, Bunnelby, Snover, a Beast Energy! Yes! Uh, again, something I needed because I only have one and it's in my set because again, I'm a collector! Uh, beast Energy is a special energy card. It is a Prism Star, so you can only have one Beast Energy in your deck. Unfortunately, there's nothing protecting this Beat, beat Energy. <laughs> At least it wasn't the Beat Energies. Uh, nobody gets that. Uh, if you do, thumbs up. Uh, but Beast Energy can get uh, Enhanced Hammer. It can get Cartana gx uh, and stuff like that, so unfortunately it is not something with a longevity attachment, but when you do, it uh, counts as one of uh, one colorless energy, but uh, while this is attached to an Ultra Beast, it provides every type of energy, uh, but only provides one at a time, so it's a rainbow energy for Ultra Beasts, and it does 30 more damage. So this is basically a rainbow energy and a choice band all in one uh, for Ultra Beasts. So it's an absolutely uh, invaluable card. For Ultra Beast decks. 110%. Uh, so there is uh, that. So great, great card. And I see some more shiny. We got a Eveltal GX. Very frightening. Ooh. Doom Count GX. If your opponent's active bomb has exactly four damage counters on it, it's knocked down. It's flat out gone. Uh, so very. Very cool. Well, we actually did get last pass. Last. Wow, I need to go to bed. Last pack magic in this box with a beast energy and an Eveltal GX in the final pack. So, uh, again, let's uh, clean this up a little bit. All right, so all in all, we got one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven holographic cards, which is pretty normal. Six or seven hollows is about par for the course for most boxes. Uh, prisms, we ended up getting three, which again is pretty normal for a box. We actually got the three best prism cards uh, in this set. Um, Diancy or Beast Energy are both the best depending on the deck you're building, obviously. Uh, but I think both are certainly very powerful cards. Volcanium is a nice little runner-up for those water decks. But uh, in terms of versatility, Beast Energy is obviously the best. But I think Diancy has the most uh, like longevity to it, so to speak. So we got like three the, the three best Prism cards. Probably the three best Prism cards in the game. Uh, so that is uh, always very nice. Um, GXs. We got four GXs, um, but we did get one full art. Uh, normally, the ratio is roughly three GXs, two full arts, and a ha, like a secret rare, which is either a gold trainer card or a uh, rainbow Pokemon card. 
Uh, so we did lose out on a full art, but we gained a GX, so it wasn't a total waste or anything like that. The, uh, the ratio of, like, good stuff is there. You should get about six good stuff cards, <laughs> as I like to call them. So we got Naganadel, we got the Dog, the Dog, Dalkia combo. <laughs> The Algen Palkia and uh, Abel Tall. There is a Xerneas GX in here, so that duo exists in here too. We did get a full art Naganadel GX, which I am super happy about. Like I said, it is a card that I needed and wanted. And this beautiful gold energy recycler. Very beautiful. Like it's just it's a good guard. That's a pretty, pretty guard. But. Uh, anyway, that does it for this, uh, like I said, very eager to jump into Celestial Storm. Uh, however, uh, Pokemon Company did send me a couple other products uh, that I can unbox as well. So look forward to those within the next couple of days. And like I said, if you want some more Celestial Storm related unboxings on this channel, let me know in the comments down below. Let Pokemon Company know that it's something that you want to see, and hopefully we can bring something cool to you guys. So, again, huge thanks to the Pokemon Company for supplying this box for unboxing, and giving me all these cool cards and fun stuff, and uh, keep an eye on my social media accounts and stuff like that. Maybe we can give away some of these code cards. So that about it does it for this unboxing. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Again, huge thanks to the Pokemon Company for for supplying this box and that about does it so take care and have a great one bye i'd like to thank mike joey joe john josh vz17 and all my fans who support me on patreon